That's life. It's weird. <laughs> Go figure. Weird. Weird. That's life. It's weird. Go figure. Beep beep. Choo choo. Honk honk. Honk. Hi, Carla. You deserve a medal if you've made it through this much of my weirdness. Now, back to the music. It's a rainy day here, Duran. Got some clouds up there. I thought I was going to be underneath the bus. Uh, trying to figure out exactly where the cool lines. I know where they're going, but there's a this direction and in that direction. This direction and that direction, forward and backward. <clears throat> and I wanted to reroute them so that the defroster still works. I'm gonna do that, just not today. So again, got these clouds up overhead. So I think what I'm gonna do is just cap them off inside to get rid of the lines. Cause ultimately what we need to do is start preparing the floor to get a protective paint coat and we'll start sealing up some holes, but we don't want that to rest as we're in and out. We don't want it to be all, all that dust uh, that kicks up from a little bit of rusted floor. So let's take a peek at what we're doing. Bigger project is gonna be postponed um, in lieu of the idea of just kind of getting this to where we can march forward with what we truly wanna do, which is get this bus back on the road so we can drive it around, use it a little bit uh, over the summer that's coming up. So check it out. So here's what we got on the inside, right? So the floor, a little rusty, you can see from the rain, we're getting just a little bit of leakage. I'm gonna trace that down. Really stoked about this transition uh, where I welded it, obviously I welded from the outside, but uh, the black is actually, we, we took a rattle can and just sprayed it a little bit, um, but no leaks, I, could, I found zero leaks. Uh, no pinholes in this transition. So what that tells me is I plan on going over the seam with some Bondo, but I don't have to do that at the moment. What I do have to find is this leak, which is fine. Um, these windows just have a couple screws in the corners. Um, so it probably is around the window. We need to get rid of these hoses that run up to the defroster up front, to the engine in the rear, we're gonna get rid of those. I'll figure out the routing and reroute them in a future video, but for today, we're going to capture the antifreeze because there are animals on the ranch. We do not want them drinking that or getting into it. So we're going to capture that in some buckets, get rid of these hoses so I can start cleaning up this floor, specifically the rusty areas. I'm going to show you that process. And then we're going to paint it with a rust, not really a rust converter, but a rust inhibitor sealer so that way we don't have to worry about this floor in the future. So I'm going to work on getting rid of those lines. We're going to kick it in a time lapse. Cue the music. What do we got here, Carla? It's the Eastwood Contour SCT. All right, so when we pulled up the flooring, we saw that there was some rust on the floor. We knew we'd have to take care of it, and great, I could do it with the angle grinder. But I've wanted one of these tools, and I contacted Eastwood to see about getting one, and we got an array of different drums. So what this has is it's kind of like a front-facing drum-based grinder. Uh, not really a grinder, but it's to prep metal. It's a metal prep tool. 
So Contour SCT, the surface conditioning tool. I'm assuming that's what it means. I've wanted it, I'm excited to use it. Uh, if you watched the last video, we used it for a little paint removal, but today we are getting to use it for uh, why we purchased it, which is these floors. I, I could not imagine crawling around with the grinder trying to do all that. I feel like that would take a lot of time and be very cumbersome. My anticipation is that this will make it a lot easier, especially being that that's a four inch forward facing drum. Uh, you can just imagine how much more surface I'm gonna cover as opposed to the grinder. So let's check it out. I'll show you what I mean. Let's get this job done. I'm gonna mask up and get ready to get dusty. Okay, so we got our discs, our drums, and they're kind of in order of abrasiveness. So we just kind of step up. Uh, this and this one seem a lot like the flapper wheels that I use on the grinder. This one's more like individual sanding pads. Uh, again, kind of like the flapper wheel, but I do believe this will be more for paint removal. We've used this to strip paint. This thing's pretty intense. That's actually what's on it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how that works uh, and make a judgment call. Do I need to go more aggressive or do I wanna back off to one of the flapper styles? This is a wire wheel. It's not excessively stiff bristled. And I believe this is gonna be our most aggressive uh, uh, drum. And it's very, very stiff. So we're gonna just do a little experiment and figure out what works. I have an angle grinder with me uh, because there's still some nails. So I have uh, a cordless grinder that I'm gonna whack off any nails with. Then I can grind it flat with the flapper disc. And then this is gonna come through and clear out any rust. I imagine I'm gonna make a mess. So I got my mask. I'm gonna throw on safety glasses and some gloves and we're gonna get to it. So now we're comparing this is what we used. We're going to try the 120 grit interleaf stripping drum. I uh, want to see how this one handles it. So, again, this is the worst area of the bus. So, I'm going to start kind of in a similar spot that's rusted. Nothing. Uh, that one didn't take up some of this really, really deep stuff. That's okay, even if I have to go hit that with a grinder. The goal is not to damage the metal, it's just to get it to a, a surface we can uh, seal off. So let's give this a shout. You doggy! Man. That's a lot of dust. <laughs> <laughs> so we are masked up because there's a lot of dust in here.
Yeah, it built up quick too. This thing is just, it's just kicking butt, man. So I'm not gonna get too intense on it right now. I think what we're gonna do is work a little bit to the back and then uh, kind of see, like sweep it up and see what the floor is. Man, um, using this thing, this thing's awesome. I made a mistake. I had my knee down. And as I'm doing, if something came back and hit my knee. Uh, so prepping the floor would be good, but also keeping in mind when you're using stuff like this, I got steel toe boots on. They'll protect my feet much better than these jeans are protecting my knee. So don't knee down, stay on your toes. Let's do it. Let's get this done. I like this. This, this, I want to finish it with this. It's prepping it to the right degree. Yeah. Um, let's actually, let's hit this area where I did with the other one just to see if it cleans it up more. All right, man. That's a champion. That's, yeah, that's it. That's through there. A lot of what you see is just what needs swept up. The dust. That's what needs done. This is the, I think we're going to find this is the right uh, mix of prepping that we want to do for this project. You can see this area up here is already pretty good. We'll just hit it to scuff it up. But let's step outside. I need to catch air. Let the dust settle. Recommendation, get that tool. But I can't resist wanting to throw on something a little more aggressive because there is some scale that's not uh, that this isn't removing and again for what we're doing i'm not sure it's completely necessary but this tool has has proven to be awesome and i just want to see what this other drum will do so what we're going to do now is just get this cleaned up it's been real it's been fun and he's got that mean old looking thing on there yeah, so this is, oh, uh, this is the one that, uh, the box. It even there. annihilated its own box. Yeah. So we're just going to give this a, sh a shot, see what it does. Mikey uh, likes any tool that says aggressive on it. <laughs> well, it just sounds fun. And uh, so let's just take a look at this worst spot, right? This is, this is what we're dealing with right here. That's pretty bad, so let's just see what this does. And actually, I have been running with the speed on four. I'm turning it full, full bore to six. That's definitely preparedness for the paint we're going to use. So, um, that's that. For a job like this, I couldn't imagine doing it without the right tool. I'm sure I could have got it done with a grinder and a flapper disc, but this is going to be much easier and, and ultimately produce a better result. Glad we got this. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, I'm going to get to it. This is going to be boring. We're going to go ahead and prep this floor today. We're not going to paint it. We're going to let the dust settle down. We're going to clean it up real good. And then we'll make a video of us actually putting a paint on and what product we selected for the painting process. I don't know what's after that. Probably closing in the, the, the floor and the door. and. Just wrapping up a bunch of things is uh, springs here and it's time to do it. So again, like, subscribe, follow, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts on what you're doing. Uh, our goal is to encourage people to just do what it is they do. It might be bus life, it might be something completely different. Um, hopefully, if you are have been in the trade, you're encouraging others to get into the trades, uh, encouraging others to use these hands and, and get, get doing some stuff. So. Um, that's our goal. Uh, hopefully we get to do some cool things. I've been reading about uh, an article uh, a friend sent me about some fires that happened uh, up in the Pacific Northwest and how there's uh, bus life helping convert two buses to uh, put families into a home uh, that lost their home. So we're going to try and get involved with some cool stuff like that as we journey forward. Step one is getting this bus ready to roll and getting you to follow the journey so you can help out and be a part of it. Peace out.